Hi, this is Jason Lunger. I want to premiere a new show called Dear Hollywood. Dear Hollywood. And for the pilot episode, I'll be talking about like uh, one of my favorite actresses, Linda Cardellini, and how she's hardly get, gets her due, like despite her great performances, like on screen. I get it, Hollywood. She's not marketable. She's not doesn't sell tickets. But you know what she does? She works hard. She puts in a great performance. Even if it's a project she doesn't want to be a part of, she never half-asses it. Like, for example, there's two performances that she, she should have been nominated for. The one movie I saw in Return, which is now out of print on DVD, which sucks because I wanted to, like, uh, buy it on DVD. It's one of my favorite performances from her. She plays, like, a Iraqi war veteran who's, like, uh, going through, like, depression and other kinds of mental illnesses, like, um, after, like, uh, her tour of duty. And she gives a great performance, and it's one of those very few movies that made me tear up. The others being Field of Dreams and Gladiator. Return is, like, uh, one of them. You can say I could do a top three on movies that made me let the tears flow. And the other one that, um, that really bothered me, though, in 2018... She had a great performance as Dolores in the Green Book, and she never got nominated for it. I mean, they won Best Picture, and Viggo Mortensen, uh, I forget his that guy's first name, Ali, last name Ali. They, they did a great job, and they deserved the awards, accolades, but where's Linda? She deserves some accolades, too. She did a great performance as, like, uh, Viggo Mortensen's wife. And she, and, like, uh, she just knocked it out of the park. Maybe she just didn't do enough screen time, I don't know, but... Whatever screen time she does have, she didn't waste it. She used every minute of her screen time for the best of her ability, and she goes beyond that. And yet, you choose to ignore her. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Yes, I like some certain aspects to Hollywood, especially back in the day when you had cinema, you had like all kinds of great magic back in the day. But nowadays, not so much. Yeah, you have a few here and there, but it's mostly just like uh, established properties, intellectual properties, like people based on toys, video games, comic books, which I don't mind. I, I don't mind watching them, but the thing about it is I just want something completely original as well. Well, that's just for another uh, episode on Dear Hollywood. But like I said, don't ignore Linda Cardellini because she's not, you know, uh, worth to be overlooked anymore because she put in her time and she deserves everything that uh, she truly deserves with her performances and being a great person like uh, outside of the set as well. So don't ignore her. Give her, give her a chance and give her like um, all the things she truly deserves. Oh, and I hope she's in the Walk of Fame someday. Like...